Hi, welcome to Sass of Sabrina. This is the channel where I try one new thing a week and post however it turns out. I hope to inspire you to try something new of your own and make you laugh if my process is funny. So this week I am going to be making an analog clock. I've been wanting to do this for a, a while, for years, as my daughter has been learning how to tell time and she currently does already know how to tell time that I dropped the ball on that completely. But we had like books that had the hands and stuff in it. She learned properly. Anyway, so all that aside, she's now actually asking for an analog clock. We tried thrifting one, it, it did not hold time. We tried looking one up online, we found one that we wanted to buy, but I really do want to try making it. So I found this kit at Michael's for $14.99 before tax. You can actually buy a clock for the same price as this kit and it's a lot less work in the whole nine yards. I just wanted, I just wanna try it. This is gonna be the background. It's fairly smooth, but I am gonna give it a light sand to see if I can get some of this off. It doesn't matter because I'm gonna be painting it. I think I still have a stencil for numbers. I'm gonna start with this because I want the background of this to be white and I have a feeling that's gonna take a couple coats. I'm actually hoping to find a can of spray paint downstairs and I might move this along a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna sand it and search around. So I did, I found a spray paint, a spray paint that's a primer. It was looking very smooth with one good coat until I brought it inside to dry. I spray it outside because of the mass and the fumes and then bring it inside to dry and whatever fumes happen happen. But it will need a second coat that's okay. I think I actually want to put an acrylic, just a crafter's paint over top of it. I don't think I want a shine to it. We're gonna let that dry and we're gonna rip this open and see what we're gonna do. Let me tell you how big of a hole to drill. I want this. This is all of the information, French and English. It just says it's been tested. Okay, second hand, there's absolutely everything. I want the black side. For you hanging on the wall, there's your battery. Okay, there's your seven steps on uh, how to assemble this. That's pretty easy peasy. Use a three quarter of an inch thick clock surface. I don't have that. It's not even a half inch. I'm gonna go measure that. Yes, my board is only a half inch. I think it'll be okay because this does tighten all the way down and that's the nut that keeps uh, the clock in place. I don't know why it's gold and everything else is black. That's kind of weird. If I need to find some washers or something to make it make more sense, I will do that and put it behind my board. No, it does not tell you how big of a hole to drill for that. So I'll just have to measure it and drill a hole in the piece of wood. Okay, so the top is still wet, but I decided I wanna paint this sides black they are dry so i'm gonna go ahead and start that okay i have the black outline done and another coat of white on the there's a few streak marks there's a few blemishes i might do a touch-up coat but it's still very wet so I, I won't know until it's completely dry top and i have an image i found online that i want to adhere to the top you will see it in the end it's just actually something really really silly so i'm gonna print that off and adhere it and then i want to drill the hole so while my image was printing i decided I to come over and look at the assembly of all of this and for some reason the our hand doesn't even fit on there so this is like a rectangle or an oval whatever you want to call it it's actually somewhere in between and this is a circle they literally do not fit together whatsoever and it's bendable and I'm bending it by accident oh, okay if you freaking cram it on there it will fit okay so yeah, like jigsaw puzzle it together. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going back to my image cut out. Oh my God, I can't even. <gasps> Just gonna leave that alone for now. So I was thinking that I can't just willy nilly place all of these lines and marks on the clock because what if the second hand keep up with them if they're too far from the center of my piece of wood, which is like 16 by 16. So I printed that out. So I'm gonna cut out around the numbers as much as I can. My daughter does want like all of these lines and these numbers and everything. So I think it'll just make more sense. I hope that'll be okay with keeping time and not running fast. 
We'll see. So I tried with the cutouts twice. It sucked. So I Googled it a little bit more and it said the numbers have to be 30 degrees apart. And then I found a video of a very easy way to do it. So I'm using my plate as my circumference. <laughs> yes, I'm making a banana clock. It's an inside joke with my daughter and I for like four years now. That line I want on the clock. And then I want to have the numbers and the lines. She specifically request requested all of the numbers and all of the lines. Do have those cut out. I don't know if I'll use them. They're kind of small. They're like two centimeters big and I have the space to do a huge number so I might as well. And now I need to go find a protractor. Hopefully I have one. I think you can make one. I forget. So I marked out my 12, 3, 6, and 9 just from the basic math of the board size and the diameter of the plate was centered. And then now I have to pull out the pro protractor which I did find. Okay well he said use the protractor that you <laughs> used to draw the radius of the circle which I did not use this protractor to do that as you can clearly tell it doesn't hit the mark. Anyway so he had this handy little thing where you go to the three and you mark your number but it'd be somewhere over here. Okay so I need to find a different way of doing this. I wonder if I have something that marks 30 degrees or if I can set this protractor to 30 degrees. Just decided to do it like all the math way. So this from the 12 to the three is seven and a half. Divide that by the three spaces in between each number. I got two and a half, so my, if I draw, if I find something that comes up off the two and a half off the measuring tape, that's where my one goes. And then the same, that's where my two, three. So I'm just gonna do it that way. And I think I'm just gonna use the protractor case and line it up completely with the measurement on the measuring tape. Do I know if this is correct? No. Does it feel like it? I don't know yet. No, that's not correct. <laughs> okay, I really need to go see what I have for tools or Google DIY protractor. Okay, so I was Googling away and there's this amazing, cool app. If I can get the center of this all lined up. I don't know how to use it. It just opened to this at right after I downloaded it. Oh, it's for angles this way. Okay, well, if you ever needed that, that's a helpful tip. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I'm gonna go look for tools. Okay, so I Googled it. I found some great information. So the math where I was trying to angle it that way was half-ass correct. So you just gotta find more lines. If you're a subscriber, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, please. Okay, so I'm using my T-square after I got my measurements from the center. So I have all my hour numbers marked out for the clock. You said you wanted all of the minute number or lines also? Yes. Yeah. This is gonna need another coat of paint after. Okay, I need to brainstorm how I want this to look a little bit more. Okay, so I decided I'm just gonna use a Sharpie. I think I might use the Sharpie on the stencil also. And I know I want the lines for the 12, three, six, and nine to be longer. I feel like I've covered up all my lines. I'm just gonna have to redraw everything. Okay, I'm gonna redraw my lines apparently. Actually, it wasn't horrible. I only had a few to redraw. So my battery's dead. So I'm just gonna make more grid lines and then pie them out to make all of the minute lines. It's the same way that you saw me do the previous update while the battery was charging just a little bit. Go back to the measurement. It was just, oh, I can't remember what it was now. It was, it was half inch and a lot, what, nine sixteenths or something like that. And then just measured it out that way. Doing it the other way with drawing, it was giving me the space in between as you can I just realized I have a extra line in there that I have to erase with white paint because it was giving me the space in between and I was going along and I forgot to erase one. So that has to be touched up. But currently actually it does have um, white paint touch up, some blue touch up. And I did extend the hour line by a quarter of an inch. And tomorrow when everything's dry, I'll do the numbers and then assembly. Excited. Start the numbers. gonna repeat that and that's the final aesthetic look now it's for time for assembly hoping I didn't break it yesterday when I ripped that front face off
gosh, you could have even used a board an inch thick and it still would have housed it okay. Battery, but it is moving. Ooh, it got stuck on an hour hand. Is that because it's... That's tricky. Make sure your pieces aren't bent. What's with the dangle dangle? <laughs> Something's wrong in assembly. Okay. I'm just gonna shut the camera off to take that apart. So I found a great video that said it's supposed to slide on to this plastic spindle, which I'm having trouble doing. So I'm just gonna wrestle with that for however long it takes. There's like a weird plastic film on top of it. And once I took that off, it was fine. But I think I might have pressed too far on the, mm, I just did it again. So your hour hand, your minute hand, this tiny little nut. Not sure it's on straight. Pliers might be a little bit handy. <laughs> okay, no dangly bangly. I don't know if that's right. Put the battery back in. It's got a little bit of a tick. That's okay, it's not too loud. What time is it now? All right, let's go hang it. And there it is hanging. I like it. It's um, popping out on the top. Stop it's popping out on the top. That was actually my Google alarm to let me know what time it is. It's just a few seconds behind. I do need to adjust that. I love it. I love the way it looks. That's awesome. My daughter's gonna love it. I'm going to probably put something on the back of the board at the bottom to have it sit a little bit more uh, level out from the wall. That's awesome. That didn't take long. That took probably an afternoon. Uh, if it didn't need to dry, so much drying time, uh, you can make that little project last as long or as little as you want because of the drying time. Oh, I just noticed my number two is crooked. Oh well, I'm so happy. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you found all of that shenanigans useful.